always do very in-depth DIY makeover full concepts types of videos and I thought for this week I would just break it down a little bit and do something a little bit more fun casual and simple so today we're actually gonna go out and do a shop with me at Ikea but not only is it shopping with me I'm gonna share with you guys a lot of the new products that they have at Ikea along with purchasing a good majority of them so I could share with you guys how I would style these pieces in my home and I personally have seen a youtuber named Kristen McGowan do these so many times and I absolutely love watching her videos she always shows so many incredible pieces at Ikea and I figured I would go ahead kind of do my own take as well then also share with you guys how I would style some of these pieces throughout my space and to be quite honest I wasn't too sure if this was a video you guys would like to see on my channel so I asked over on Instagram if it was something that you'd like to see and the response was pretty crazy 95% of people said yes that was 19,300 people and then a thousand people said no they would not like to see it so I'm sorry to that 5% but you know if 19,000 people want to see an Ikea shop with me then I'm going to Ikea and shopping and filming it for you guys so that is what I have for you today I'm actually heading to Ikea in a little bit I'm gonna change because it is hot outside in LA it's like a hundred degrees out today which is pretty crazy but let's get going Entering Ikea, of course I went up the escalators and I was greeted by this first little vignette here which I gravitated immediately towards this rattan style tray. I love the bamboo on it, I love the wrapping, I think it's really cute. And then to the right, there was a little kitchen vignette. I actually get really inspired by Ikea's vignettes. I think they do a great job at showing you how you can use Ikea pieces and almost make them not look like everything's from Ikea. They do a great job of adding additional things in there to make them really cute. Uh, I also loved this little Thai linen pillow, which is only $10. Upon entering the space, I just, I just loved it. I really, truly did. I love the green on the walls. I think it adds a nice warm touch, but the thing I love about the space is how it really looks lived in and inviting. These rattan style chairs add a little bit of warmth and texture, and I never knew Ikea sold chairs like this. I think they're perfect for outdoor and indoor, and the chairs are only $79 a piece, which I think is pretty great. But the thing that I loved about this room is Ikea is really known for their very Scandinavian, modern, kind of stark white aesthetic, and I feel like this room was a total opposite. This gave me very, like, thought out designer vibes, which I loved. And this hutch in particular was one that I kind of gravitated towards. I thought the gold handles were beautiful. I loved the glass in the front and the sides. And not to mention the cabinet fronts were also really pretty as well. You've seen me upcycle Ikea lighting a trillion times, but these pieces are just as good as is. I love the brass base. I love the pleated shade and the price point is impeccable. I wandered over into the seating section and found out that Ikea actually now has sectionals that are fully customizable. So you can go ahead and pick the size, the orientation, what kind of features you want it to have, along with the fabric and finishes on the piece, which I think is really nice. Not to mention, it looks very high quality, which I love. And I also saw that there was a new accent chair. Just being fully transparent with you guys, this was not my favorite accent chair I've ever seen, but for 49 bucks, I think it's great for like a dorm room or a kid's room. I actually love adding a round coffee table when a lot of your furniture is very kind of angular. So this piece would break that up perfectly, not to mention it's a really pretty shade of light wood. And then I ended up coming across this little collection as well, composed of three pieces. There is a coffee table, side table, and like a larger, kind of taller side table, but I love the industrial look of these pieces. I think the wood on top pairs really nicely with the black metal, and I think the screws, kind of the exposed screws, really add to that vibe as well. Two other tables that are not new, but I wanted to share because I love this coffee table here. It is the Lister B coffee table, I believe. I've always wanted it, but I just, I don't have space for it. And it's so cute. I love the rounded edges and not to mention this little side table as well. It's classic and can go with any style. I know I shared this hutch a little bit earlier in the video, but I also found out that they have other pieces that coordinate with the hutch or can be, you know, purchased as one-off pieces, such as this TV unit here. I love this as well. It's perfect for like a very French style if that's something that you like, and I think it can be totally elevated um, or painted if you want to go ahead and do so. They also have these smaller versions. I think the one on the left is so cute. That kind of darkish green black color is really pretty. And the bookcases were also really cute. I love the paneling in the back of the bookcase, but I also love how 
kind of the front lip of the bookcase has this little rounded edge to it. I think it just adds a nice touch. This little vignette over here did a great job at pulling off a very coastal vibe. I love the warm woods mixed with the blue, mixed with the white. I think it's a really pretty color palette. And these new dining chairs are also great. Like I have nothing bad to say about them at all. I love the woven look of them. I think the color is really pretty. And on top of that, they are very comfortable. I did a little sit test for you guys and they, I mean, they did their job. They were a comfortable seat. If you're in the market for a new dining table, this one is really large, so it's great for a large family. I also love the color of wood, but my favorite part about this table is the legs. I think it adds a nice airiness and openness to having such a solid, large top on the table. This green kitchen is always so inspiring. I love it. I love the use of brass in here. I love the cabinet on the back wall, and I love those cup handles as well, and just the hardware in this space. I don't know if you guys knew, but Ikea actually has an entire hardware section. At least mine does. I don't know if all of them do, and they have really cute hardware at a really great price point. So definitely check that out if you're in the market for some hardware. You guys know I had to head down to the marketplace. This is kind of where I frequent, honestly, the most when I go to Ikea. And the first thing I saw walking into the marketplace were these really cute tea towels. And the reason I ended up picking these up is because they're perfect to go with my kitchen. I have some lemon wallpaper in there, as you guys know. So I ended up styling this in my kitchen, which I loved. Ikea just released a new collection called Low Cult, I believe. It might not be the name of the whole collection, but I just love it. I love it because it's handmade. So everything has this very personalized kind of individuality to it. And not every single piece looks the same. Some of the glaze is kind of imperfect and some of the markings and marrings on the pieces are imperfect as well, which I really like. And I think it's something that Ikea should incorporate more into their collection. I love how they're bringing artisans in to create these kind of unique pieces here. So there's a couple of pillows, there's a couple of rugs. Um, these pillows here are also really fun. I love the shades of green. The blue shade of the serving bowl is so cute. I love how it's kind of like a robin's egg blue and I love the handles on there, but if it's not your cup of tea, they also have a smaller version as well. That's kind of a gunmetally color and they have a ton of pieces created from this really nice kind of natural fiber woven into bowls and different pieces like lampshades as well. So I ended up picking up the really small bowl. I have not seen one this size or this shape before. So I ended up picking it up and putting it into my bookshelf here. And these are the lampshades, which are to die for. I could see these on Serena and Lily for like, like six hundred dollars. Ikea, I swear, has been updating their throw pillow game lately and incorporating really fun textured pillows, such as this one here, which totally looks like something you'd find at Urban Outfitters for a astronomical price point. I love the colors. It's not my particular style, but I'm going to be keeping it for a future room makeover. I think it's really pretty. I don't know if my Ikea has been out of these or if these are new, but these $10 throws look so much like boucle fabric. Now they are knit, but overall they kind of have that very swirly teddy vibe to them, which I love. I think if they had it in a light brown shade, it would go quickly. And these vintage rug pillows, you guys, I don't know if you know, but Ikea carries these, they're $34.99. In the rug section, there were a couple new rugs that went along with that new low cult collection, these three here in particular. This first one kind of has a little bit of a terrazzo kind of abstract pattern. The second one is my favorite. I love the white. I love the loopiness and chunkiness of it, and I love the abstract lines. And this third one here with the kind of fun shapes on it is a runner. Headed on into the decor section and they had a couple new pieces including this hourglass here which I had to pick up because I feel like a lot of higher end decor stores sell hourglasses for an astronomical price point when it's not necessary at all so the Ikea one has you covered for sure. I got the light kind of tan one but they also have a pinkish one which is really pretty. 
I also stumbled across this little bowl here, which I love the scallop trim on the top and I love the pink color as well. And these little ceramic rainbows were so cute. I picked these up, I think they might be my favorite. I just simply put them on top of my fireplace mantle, a couple of books I laid down as the base and then I stacked them on top as almost like a little paperweight decor figurine situation. And I love the way that it turned out. These cat and dog planters remind me of some that I've seen at World Market and you can get them at Ikea now, they're brand new. And I also saw this mirror here, which I've never seen before. I think it's really fun. The shape is unique, probably would be cute for a bathroom space. And they also had a couple of plants, you guys. I have never seen this one at my Ikea. I don't know if this is new or not, but I love it, especially for six bucks. Like this looks pretty realistic. So I popped it in a really cute little planter and put it on a window seal in my horror movie room, if you guys remember that space. And reaching the end of my Ikea journey is always a plant section. They had these really cute new planters. One has a brass base and one has a black base, which is perfect for a modern space, I think. And then if you're more into boho style, this macrame planter is so cute. It's a hanging planter, so you can add a pot in there with the plant. And I love the chunky beads. And last but not least, this little planter as well is brand new. It has that umbra vibe to it, very mod. And that was really my shopping experience. I checked out with all my pieces and headed home. And I'm in the same outfit as the intro. That's because I am filming the outro at the end of this. I'm assuming I was able to find some good stuff in the video. I would love to know your guys' thoughts. And I'm assuming I also love the pieces in my apartment because I haven't yet seen them. If this video's out, of course I loved everything and I wouldn't be sharing it if I didn't. This is also in no way in collaboration or partnership with Ikea in any way. I am just an avid shopper. And as many of you guys know, I love doing Ikea flip videos. So I'm constantly checking out their store for new items and just seeing what I can flip, DIY, or keep as is because they really do have some incredible furniture pieces. And I would love to know if you guys would like to see more shop with me or style type videos like this one. So give a big thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section below. But I will go ahead and let you guys go. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye guys.